In this topic, we're going to look at T lymphocytes and cell mediated immunity. So, we're going to discuss T lymphocytes and just touch on B lymphocytes. T lymphocytes in the thymus gland. How do T cells distinguish normal cells from invaded ones? What is cell mediated immunity? What are the different types of T lymphocytes? So we can look at T helper cells, T cytotoxic cells, memory cells, and then we're going to end off with inflammation. In the last topic, we discussed B lymphocytes and how they're involved in humoral immunity. So they secrete antibodies. B lymphocytes respond to non-self cells. So these are foreign cells or foreign products. T lymphocytes, on the other hand, respond to organisms own cells. These have been invaded by non-self material. They also respond to transplanted material which is genetically different. So here you can see when a macrophage engulfs a pathogen such as a virus, it becomes an antigen presenting cell. A helper T cell recognizes this antigen presenting cell and it stimulates B cells to divide into plasma cells that secrete antibodies. Now both B and T cells, or T lymphocytes, divide to form memory cells that form the memory bank in case there's another infection by the same pathogen. The name for T lymphocytes is actually thymus-derived lymphocytes. They are the T killer cells and the T helper cells. They are produced in the stem cells before birth, in the bone marrow. They then leave the bone marrow and move to the thymus gland. They mature in the thymus gland and then they leave the thymus gland to go to the lymph nodes, spleen, or they move around the body. So what is the thymus gland? Well, you find the thymus gland in the chest below the sternum. It begins to function during embryonic development and it's most active around and after birth. It then begins to shrink and after puberty it's very small or absent as the T cells have matured. Interestingly, if you remove the thymus gland from newborn mice, this will lead to death due to infection since there are no lymphocytes. If you remove the thymus gland in older mice, it has got no effect. So how do T cells distinguish invaded cells from normal ones? Well, as you can see on the right, a macrophage engulfs a microbe or a pathogen, and then it breaks down the microbe and presents some of the antigens on its surface. Body cells invaded by a virus also manage to present some of the viral proteins on their own cell surface membrane. This signals distress. These cells, so the macrophage and the um, body's own cell that have been invaded, are recognized by T cells. So the non-self material on the surface of all these cells acts as antigens and therefore the antigen presenting cell is used to describe them. You've got many different versions of the two main types of T lymphocytes in the body, each of which has a different receptor protein on its surface. Now although these receptors function a similar way, they are not antibodies because they still remain attached to the T lymphocyte. So here's quite a nice little diagram to show you how T killer cells function. So I mentioned the word cell mediated immunity. This is when T lymphocytes only respond to antigens that are attached to a body cell. So they don't respond to any um, antigens in the body fluid. So let's have a look at the different types of T lymphocytes. 
You've got two main classes of T lymphocytes, T helper cells and T killer cells. Both of these can produce their own types of memory cells. T helper cells play a key role in immunity. When they attach to an antigen presenting cell, T helper cells secrete chemicals called cytokines. T killer cells, also known as T cytotoxic cells, kill body cells that are infected by non-self material. So what they do is they make holes in the cell surface membrane of that body cell and release toxic substances into it. Now, because viruses need host cells to reproduce, the body cell is sacrificed and this prevents the virus from multiplying. So let's have a look at them in a little bit more detail. So T helper cells are activated by antigens on the body's cells that are recognized by the T receptors. They then divide to form memory cells and they also release cytokines. So cytokines are protein molecules which act as messengers. And what they do is they stimulate appropriate B cells to divide into plasma cells and these plasma cells will secrete antibodies. They also activate T cytotoxic cells or T killer cells and they stimulate vigorous phagocytosis by macrophages. So there's a word called interferon. What is interferon? It's a cytokine made by cells invaded by a virus. So here you can see a virus has infected a cell. The cell sends out interferons to neighboring cells. These bind to the uninfected neighboring cells and stop the translation of messenger RNA. So when the viral messenger RNA or when the virus attaches there, the messenger RNA cannot be used to synthesize new viruses. So can you see when that virus binds to that green neighboring cell, it cannot replicate. Tumor necrosis factor is released from T lymphocytes and it causes tumors to shrink. It also activates phagocytic cells. Okay, let's have a look at T cytotoxic or T killer cells. These kill body cells that have been invaded by non-self material. So they search the body for invaded body cells displaying foreign antigens. They may also be helped by cytokines from the T helper cells. So here you can see quite a nice diagram, the T killer cell recognizes the antigen presenting cell, binds to it, and then it secretes um, chemicals into that body cell to kill it. Now both T helper and T cytotoxic cells produce their own type of memory cells, which circulate in the blood in readiness to respond to further invasions by the same pathogen. Another type of T lymphocyte is the T suppressor cell. It turns off the actions of the various other lymphocytes once the pathogens have been eliminated from the body. Any inflammatory response occurs when phagocytes and lymphocytes are concentrated in an area of infection. This results in inflammation. Antigens initiate the response, increasing blood supply to the area, which becomes red and swollen, and may continue to accumulate dead cells, forming pus. Here's a nice summary to show you the origin and roles of lymphocytes in immunity. The lymphocytes are made in the stem cells in the bone marrow. The T lymphocytes mature in the thymus gland and they're involved in cell mediated immunity. So you've got the T helper cells and the T cytotoxic cells. And 
you also have the T suppressor cells. The B lymphocytes, remember that they form plasma cells and memory cells, and the plasma cells are the ones that secrete antibodies. And that concludes our lesson. The end.